So can you feel a difference in the vibrational frequency of appreciation and gratitude? A lot of people use them interchangeably. I'm not sure I understand the distinction. Well, for example, what are you grateful for? My life, That's the good. people in my life. That's good. The experiences that I've had, both good and bad, because they brought me to the place where I am. In appreciation, you're focused more upon where you are going. Mm -hmm. In gratitude, most, not always, are focused mm -hmm. more upon what they are overcoming. Oh, okay. I'm grateful that this has lifted or I'm grateful that I've received this help but there's a mixture of attention to what you're overcoming that introduces resistance into the equation okay you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. and since this is the conversation that we're having all day long here today okay. we would say and it may not always be true with what someone is feeling they may be using a word differently than we are sensing that most people are using it but appreciation is more unconditional gratitude is more conditional okay. because in the gratitude there's more emphasis upon the condition that you have overcome or that you seek to overcome mm -hmm. nitpicking maybe vibrational fine-tuning certainly okay thank you for that so I am very appreciative of life itself and my We're life grateful. in particular. <laughs> <laughs> We're so grateful you overcame all of that. <laughs> okay. Well, I am wanting to make light of it because words don't matter. Right. Words do not matter, but vibration does. Okay. And so sometimes you get locked into a word. It's another thing about words is that you use words to make things happen not understanding that the vibration at the basis of the words that you're using isn't getting the results that you're wanting and so right. that's why words in a sense are more conditional than we're wanting strange that we use so many of them yes but we're just wanting you to start feeling for the frequency of things more so it's better to tune into your actual feeling yeah than to even try to seek words to express yourself because when you do when you mm -hmm. care about the feeling you sync up with what source knows and you can't maintain that very long before you start receiving mm -hmm. all of the further words and stronger emotions and then impulses and then and then and then and then yes I feel like when I am in a receptive mode with a positive emotion I do channel my higher self you do and I think everyone does we're not trying to talk you out of action and mm -hmm. we're not trying to talk you out of words but we are trying to talk you into finding the emotional basis first and letting the words and the actions be as a result of that vibrational basis not to try to achieve the vibrational basis some right. people use affirmations yes. and they think if they say the words enough right. that they will accomplish the vibration of it right. and it's going about it in exactly a backwards way right. find the vibration of it and the affirmation is the further extension of that okay